Happy Easter everyone, uh, Will here with my flea market finds for April 20th, 2014. Uh, as usual on an Easter weekend, I uh, didn't find a, as nearly as much stuff uh, as I normally do. Uh, however, I hit one sale, one yard sale, um, on Saturday, uh, which was a really good one. Um, got a lot of stuff there. If it wasn't for that, I really wouldn't have much to show you at all. It'd be a quick video. Uh, but let me show you what I got. A uh, couple Budweiser signs. Uh, that one needs the shade attached. I uh, got the screws to it. Uh, these were eight apiece. Uh, pretty good condition. Uh, well made signs. Uh, I think they got a little age to them. Uh, should do well. We'll sell them individually. Uh, from the same person, got a uh, Bud Light uh, plug-in sign. I'm not even sure exactly what it looks like. Um, it's still in the original box. Uh, had to pay 30 for that, but I think that's an easy uh, $100 uh, sign right there. I love these things. Check them out. The Magician Longfellow. These are plywood cutouts that fold up. I guess when he took a show on the road. Paid uh, $30 for the pair, so that's only $15 a piece. I love the wear that they show. Um, shows that they were actually out there and were used uh, for for quite a while looks like not sure what to put on them um, I'll keep them together I think uh, but uh, some cool pieces there I like them in could have probably put uh, made up a couple signs and just covered up magician Longfellow and put happy Easter on there and uh, set them on the front porch uh, picked up a DVD game here. Uh, it was uh, uh, four dollars for everything there. Couldn't really pass it up. Still new in the box. Got a Leapster TV. Uh, still in the box for uh, five dollars. Uh, not much in gun stuff uh, this week. A couple of uh, Thompson Contender uh, things there and a uh, holster for a uh, Ruger uh, 9mm. Uh, nice one there. Paid uh, eight for the holster and a dollar a piece for the Thompson stuff. Over here we have a uh, Wagner Ware ashtray, five bucks. Five bucks on the um, on the Washington Bullets. Of course, they're not called the Washington Bullets anymore. Uh, because uh, they had so many murders in Washington, uh, they thought Bullets wasn't uh, too good of a name uh, for the team. Still with the tags. These are pretty neat. Uh, sparring gloves. Uh, I like that they still have little tassels there. Got some age on them. I paid 10 for these. You can see the uh, Sockums. Wear right, exclusive creation. Pretty neat. Um, always like finding vintage uh, boxing stuff. Uh, can't go wrong there. This was a cool piece. Paid a dollar for this. It says here original copper taken from convict ship success built 1790. Uh, Already put this on eBay. We got it on there for 75. I think it might be a little high, but uh, cool piece. Uh, bought a bottle opener for three bucks. Uh, believe it or not, you have to check out my completed sales. I already shipped it off, but I sold a bottle opener for fifty dollars. Uh, it was a donkey one made out of brass. But uh, I buy every 
figure old bottle opener that I could find. Uh, if you're wondering where the bottle opener is, it's this tail right here. Uh, so for three dollars, can't go wrong there. Uh, got a Leatherman. Uh, these things always sell well to me, for me. Um, this one looks like it's never been used. Not a scratch on it. Still got the uh, sticker on it. This will probably go international for some reason. I always sell them international. Uh, that was uh, five dollars, and probably turn that into fifty, maybe more. My only piece of glassware, I think. Uh, yeah, looks like it. But it's a. Uh, Where's the mark? There it is. Heisey with the H inside the diamond uh, etched. Um, nice little candy dish. And that was seven I paid for that. Couple hats back there for a buck a piece. That's a uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway and a Maryland Terrapins. Uh, three yearbooks uh, for uh, six dollars a piece. Uh, our baby's book, pretty neat, mailed out from a uh, best wishes from Kane Dairy. Pretty, uh, pretty neat that they would send out um, something to the. Uh, uh, for the new baby. Makes sense if you're in the milk business, I guess. Uh, I got that free. Uh, hit a nice sale. Uh, this was all part of that one nice sale. Um, got a rigid uh, monkey, monkey wrench, uh, pipe wrench. This is the uh, aluminum handle. Uh, pretty expensive for these things. Uh, that was five. Another uh, wrench for five bucks. The rigid. Uh, just sold a strap wrench on uh, eBay for uh, forty dollars. Uh, so this was five. And uh, if you watch my videos, you know what these are. I love finding these things. These are uh, things you put on the wall, then hang your sink on. And uh, you can't find them like this anymore. I got these for a buck a piece. Uh, the last one I sold, I got uh, $30 for. Lots of people with uh, old Victorians uh, that are fixing them up. And uh, they want stuff like this uh, to hang their sink on. Uh, they don't want the new brackets. Um, so, dollar a piece and I should get 30 a piece. Uh, over here, picked up a Kirby vacuum attachment, uh, handy butler, not exactly sure what it does, looks like a grinding stone in there or something, but uh, everything Kirby makes is really well made and really expensive too. Uh, got a bucket of... This was this was filled up to about here when I got it. I've taken some uh, pieces out. Uh, copper fittings got some brass in there too. Uh, Twenty dollars for the entire bucket. I could have took it to a scrapyard and they would have gave me uh, two fifty a pound. I don't know how many pounds was in there. It must have been about oh, 25, 30 pounds in there. But. Uh, what I tried to do with this, I uh, filled up some flat rate bo uh, boxes. And uh, since they're still good, I mean, these things have never been used. Um, I'm going to try to sell them in a lot, um, in lots on eBay. And uh, just go by weight. Uh, I think we just boxed them up and we're going to figure about $4 a pound. And uh, see how they go with that. Uh, if they don't sell, there's always a scrapyard. But 
Hopefully somebody can uh, put them to good use. Uh, this was that yard sale that I've been telling you about. The uh, uh, love seeing a box that says silverware on it. Of course, most of the time, when you see a box that says silverware, it's silver plate. However, this was not silver plate. This was sterling. And uh, I asked the guy how much uh, for the uh, box of silverware. And he says, oh, the sterling. And as soon as he said he knew it, that it was sterling, I thought, you know, I'm not going to get a good price on this. He said, give me a hundred bucks on the box. So I look at it, and it's uh, it's just a starter set. It's 16 pieces, but you can see they've never been used. The pattern's called uh, Prelude. Everything's still in the original wrapper. Uh, this must be from like the 50s, I would guess. Uh, from the condition of the box. Um, so I gave him $100 for everything here. And uh, turns out, just in the forks and spoons is 17 ounces of sterling not counting the, the uh, forks of course the forks have uh, stainless steel blades and sterling handle uh, so just based on the 17 ounces of sterling there um, of course sterling's 92.5 uh, percent uh, silver Silver is around $20 an ounce, uh, so uh, just in scrap value alone, uh, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, I'm going to sell this for the pattern. Uh, try to, I uh, think I can get more for it uh, by selling it for the pattern. Hopefully somebody needs some pieces to uh, complete their set. Uh, so we'll have to, uh, we're going to try it that way first try to sell it as a set. If it doesn't sell as a set, I'll break it up into uh, the forks and spoons. But uh, since it's still in great shape, I think that's the way to go. Really happy with that find there. Uh, over here, check it out. I, it's a lot of pink boxes and a lot of space are taken up. But, uh, once again from that same sale, uh, there's ten of these. I, I have eight here on the porch. I got two down in the home office. These are uh, Marie Osmond dolls. Now, um, I asked how much on these, and the guy said uh, $20 a piece on the dolls. So, I know that when these things were new, um, you can see they've never been removed from the box. When these things were new, they sold for uh, $150, $200, I, I think. Uh, so, I looked them up, and uh, uh, they're bringing, it, it really depends on the ones, but uh, it was a good deal, so... Uh, Alf, I asked the guy what he'd take from them all. He said, uh, uh, if I took them all, uh, 150 and he'd throw in the two uh, Boyd's Bears. So that was a pretty good deal. So I took them all, all 10 Marie Osmond dolls, and the two Boyd's Bears were 150 uh, So we'll have to see what's here. Uh, at the very least, I'm thinking... 50 bucks a piece. Uh, might be a couple in there that's worthwhile, worth more, but uh, we'll have to see. The Boyd's Bears, not really too much. Uh, they're not really collectible anymore, but uh, to be thrown in on the deal, uh, couldn't pass that up. Uh, so there we go. Uh, pretty good for Easter weekend, I think. Uh, 
really uh, really happy with uh, the finds um, like I said if it wasn't for that one sale <laughs> you'd only be looking at about half the stuff here uh, but we'll go ahead and get this listed in the store on eBay terminal 99 is the store name uh, check it out and uh, until next time it's will yard sale survivalist and we'll talk again soon